All right, what's going on? Here we are on the eBay store. We are gonna uh, show you. I'm gonna crunch out these two bags of bits here. Um, there's some more in here. Not many in there. Um, pretty much this whole tote is pretty much all bits. Um, I was in this box. Stuff on this floor here. And some more stuff in here. So, got to do a little more separation, but I'm pretty close. So, um, I'll stir up the video for each lot and try to give you a little thought process through it all. All right? We'll be back. All right, so we went through this first bag here. Um, these are all single and double-ended end mills. I went through the tube, just looked real quick, uh, checked to make sure they were uh, end mills. These are end mills here, and these are um, rounded. Uh, these are called corner rounding. I'll show you corner rounding. Yep, that's a corner rounding. They do pretty good. Um, and this is a end mill. It's a bigger one, that way you get a better idea. This is an end mill. It's a four headed end mill. This might be a double, yeah, it's a double ended forehead, <laughs> double ended forehead. Uh, nice piece, big piece. Uh, this is probably, I mean, new. The, these are 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks. Carbide could be 100. I don't think this is carbide, but. Niagara 7 8 OSCO. Uh, not sure. I think it would have said carbide on it. It was. Um, But I'll do like 10 bucks on these big ones. I think it's, uh, it, I think it's more than fair. Um, I don't think that matches this here, but let me turn off the camera, check if this matches, and then I'll take you to the table and show you what I'm doing. Okay, so uh, conclusion is this is definitely not the tube for this bit, so um, we will keep that in mind when we make the ad that maybe some of these are not in the correct tube. Um, I still have this bag to go through that has the sleeves, so let's uh, bring you to the table. Okay, here we are at the uh, photo booth. We will go through some of the bits. So, um, basically what you want to do is you, you want to inspect. So, there's a groove here. This is just going to be for the quick seller when you find them. This might not be like the full technique, but um, they want these sharp. You know, you're gonna make it sharp. May well make sure it's sharp. So, I mean, that looks pretty darn sharp. See how it has a curved end right here? Well, that's because inside there is curved too. So this looks pretty darn good. Um, looks almost, it's used because it has dust on it, but it wasn't overly, overly used. Could have been using it on a wood because there is some like wood fragments on here. So that's good. Um, so I would say this is good. Uh, you can try to match them to the tube if you want. That might take more time. So you get a weld in one inch. It's a double-ended uh, quad. So let's see what this thing says. So it came from came from this tube here. Uh, weld in. Or flute. 
double ended uh, one inch with a one inch shank. Yeah, one inch with a one inch shank. So this is the actual tube for this bit here. Um, I could just list that in a single, but I did see some people running ads on that as a single and I didn't really see any selling in the last 90 days. So um, they were selling this as a single right now at this comp price here, which I believe is uh, around $90. So I think we'll just price that at like 30, all right? And then, because um, these are the bigger bits, I might have to just kind of crunch these out a little because we got to kind of maximize the most we can out of these at this point because uh, when we purchased everything, uh, which consists of these bits here, some bits in there, some doodads, uh, and bits there, bits there, um, a tote there. We got the lathe um, and a couple other uh, items. And I just need to crunch everything out. That way I get the most I can back. So, cut the video. I'll do the full inspection. Start to make an ad. Give you some shots. And then we'll just keep going. Um, I did make this bit lot already at this ad right here. This is the ad. I already made it. I already launched it. Um, so we'll go from there. All right. We'll be back. All right. So here we go. We're at uh, lot seven, I believe. Yeah. Lot seven. So here's seven lots. Um, they were about $100 or a little more a lot. And here's a lot of um, just basic drill bits. Um, it's a good amount, so I just figured I put a $50 tag on it. So um, you can always go down. Might go down to 30 20 who knows. But here's some of the logistics of um, drill bits. Let me grab some more. These are the other ones. Uh, I could have really, I could have really, uh, went through these with a fine tooth comb if I had to, but, um, so basically here's all, uh, parts and broken chips and dings and dents and stuff. As you can see, slightly, let me bring you in another angle. Okay, so you get some rounding edges here. But right here has a solid chip. Right here, you can usually feel it with your, uh, with your fingernail or your skin. Like that's a good edge. Uh, that one's chipped. But uh, guys can, uh, they usually put these on a microscope to really get an idea if they're chipped or not. It's as close as I can kind of get right there. But, uh, yeah, so basically all these have a defect. So I'll put them in a defect lot because, let me show you an example. That is not a good example. This is an example of the last guy trying to make a, uh, like a rounding like a rounded edge bit. So you can still make these into another kind of bit. You gotta be kind of good at it. Um, you would have to have a real extensive machine shop. So this is like, um, you know, maybe stuff for like a school 
or um, practice runs. Um, a couple of these are probably good. So, I mean, there might be $20, $30, $40 worth of good bits there. This is a decent pile of them. Um, let's see. If all these were, let's just say all these were good. would have probably you know 50 at least 50 bucks right there at least um and probably another 50 at least there so you got like a hundred dollars worth of bits that are <clears throat> damaged so i might only get 50 bucks for all these like a dollar each um you know like this like this bit you know you could still use that for wood it's a good wood bore bit at this point. Um, yeah, you're not going to get the cleanest cut, but it's still functional. Uh, and you could sharpen a little of that if you had to, but that's that's the logistics. Uh, stuff's going to be broken. Uh, stuff would be broken like that. They put it in the lathe at that point, make it into a, a cutter bit. So, I mean, all the steel is always still usable in some sort of weird way. Um, always can be sharpened. Like that one's just got a small little chip in it, so it's still probably worth a dollar. Just didn't want to put it in any of the uh, good lots, you know? That way, uh, when the buyer gets these, they're a little happy where nothing's really damaged, you know? It's fully described. I, uh, they don't think you're trying to pull a hokey dokey on them where, um, you know, a couple of the, maybe the bits that they actually were looking at are the ones that are chipped. So, um, keep that in mind and we'll be back. Let's keep grinding them out. Okay, we got, um, this tote pulled out of the van. There's a couple more bags and we still got all these bags to do. All those to do. So. We'll be back. <laughs>